There have been 17 NFL teams in the last 13 seasons to go from last place to first place in one season. USA Today Sports ranked the 2015 last place teams with the best chance of finishing first in their division in 2016 to Skip's pleasure and Darren's as well. The Cowboys have the best chance to go from worst to first in the NFC East, followed by the Bucks, Dolphins, Bears, and Chargers. Darren Woodson now in the house here with us. Darren, your Cowboys getting a lot of love since they got Ezekiel Elliott. Absolutely. have had a good time with it. But listen, let me say this. Before we get started, do yeah. it. got a friend named J.D. Is my camera right here? My friend J.D. picked it in January. He said that the Cowboys would draft Ezekiel Elliott. I lost the bet. J.D., you won the bet. Here I am on your favorite show. <laughs> uh, first take, gave you some love. Now, I think you just paid off the bet. I just paid yeah. off the bet What's right up, there. JD? But listen, I, I think right now with the Cowboys, of course, going into the draft, everyone was thinking quarterback. Mm -hmm. Uh, maybe a defensive player in Jalen Ramsey because of the depth, because they have no depth on the defensive side of the ball. The Cowboys pushed all their chips in and basically said, we're going offense. We're going to try to re recreate what we did in 2014 with DeMarco Murray, physical running game, let Tony Romo sit back, dump the ball off here and there, but let the offensive line do what they do best, and that's run the football and be the physical bunch they are. Ezekiel Elliott brings that mentality back to them. I have this team moving back up and winning the NFC East this year simply because of what they do and what they're going to do on the offensive so side you, of the ball. you ended up liking the pick even though you didn't see it coming? I didn't see it coming. I, I thought that they were going – first of all, I thought if golf was there, they were going to pick a quarterback. Or they would go Jalen Ramsey uh, as a defensive player. But with Ezekiel Elliott sitting there, I can understand why they would push their chips in right now and say mm -hmm. the window of opportunity for Tony Romo was small. It's closing. Jason Witten, it's closing. Let's go offense. Let's get back to what we did in 2014. Okay, now let me bring Molly up to speed before Shannon speaks. This man sitting across from me had the audacity yesterday to pick your or New York genius? football giant. He picked the Giants to win next year's NFC East. I was shocked. I fell off my chair when he made that pick because it is so wrong-headed. But I'll really? let him try to defend it now. <laughs> I mean, I'm looking at this list. They have the Cowboys won, Bucks, Dolphins. Okay, Bucks, look who's in their division. Cam Newton just went to the Super Bowl, MVP, Drew Brees. The Dolphins, who's in their division? Tom Brady, Brady. New right. England Patriots. Yeah. Uh, the Bears, who's in that division? Aaron oh, Rodgers. That's right. Come on, keep, Skip. Keep going down the list. Keep going. Oh, uh, the Chargers. I got, uh, the Chargers got a shot. Yeah. Of all those teams, they got a shot. Yes, yeah, they yes. Do. You yes, know yes, it. Yes, yes, they do. They yeah. yep. moved a lot. So all things being equal. <laughs> Go to the Giants, though. They've got Eli if Manning. it was me, I'd probably take the Chargers because, for the simple fact, That's Peyton Manning. Right, he's the best quarterback in the division. Right. Peyton Manning left the Broncos. That's right. Yep. Osweiler left the Broncos to be a free agency. They got Mark Sanchez, who somehow injuries just, I don't know how he hurt his hand, his non throwing hand, <laughs> lifting weights, or whatever he was doing. Maybe he was doing jumping jacks or, or, or cartwheels, or however. But, but wait a second, how do you have surgery because you tore a ligament in your left hand, but you're going to be back in seven to 10 days? This guy must be in a remarkable I, 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 don't Don't get me started on that. So, all things being equal, I would probably take the charges, but I'm going to get back to your Cowboys. You, you, you seem to think they can recreate this lightning in the bottle that they caught in 2014. Um, he finished second in the MVP, MVP voting, did Tony Romo. 1,800-plus yards uh, by DeMarco Murray. Defense played very well. So, he, so you're saying run Ezekiel Elliott. You get a healthy Dez Bryant. You can minimize the amount of snaps the defense is going to have to face yeah. because – yeah, Darren, let's struggling. be realistic. I, I'm, They're not very good. Me. Absolutely. And, I, and I don't think, and they didn't get any better. So Ezekiel Elliott, he better be rookie of the year. He better put up 1,600 yards. Because if he don't, if he doesn't, it could get real ugly for yeah. the team. How about this stat called T.O.P., as in time of possession, that they dominated two years ago? Dominated the NFL time of possession. But you need this thing called P-O-I-N-T-S points. Yeah. Yeah. And, that's where, <laughs> and that's where I think the Ezekiel Elliott -E -E comes in. And the defense. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what Skip just said. The time of possession is one. But the big play opportunities that they're going to have, you know how this play works. Action. The running game mm -hmm. works when Ezekiel Elliott and that offensive line is, is crushing you at the line of scrimmage. Dez will have his one-on-one -on -one opportunities. And then seeing Dez a couple of weeks ago, the kid is ready. He's, he's working out like you. Okay. No, maybe not like you. <laughs> he's working out all the time. He's ready for this season to keep yep. going right now. And I think that's... I think there's a chip on his shoulder because yep. last year I was a guy that said he fell out of the top five and ten as far as wide receiver. Well, he did. Now he says, I'm back yep. to being the old, old Dez. By the way, we assume Dez can pass a PED test, though, as opposed to 
I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You got it. You got it. You got it. It was a joke. It was a joke. No. He planted that seed. Yeah. Now everybody's yeah. gonna say, "Did you hear what Skip Bayless yeah. said about Shannon Sharpe?" Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nope, it's all uh, natural. I know. I know for a fact it's all natural. I, I admire what you do with your your workouts. Yeah. And I, I watched him eat last night. It's as clean as a whistle. Yeah. I'm gonna okay. get him. I'm gonna get him back, now, back man. Now, now back to what we're talking about. Th this is an unfair fight because it, when we're talking about teams that usually go from worst to first, it's because they get decidedly better through a draft or a signing, right. or, or they just sort of grow up, like, like your Cowboys, the 92 Cowboys. When, I don't remember what they were in, you were in 91, but I don't think you were worse because you, you almost made the playoffs. Yeah. But, but the, or you, they they, they did make the playoffs. They, they lost the playoffs. to Detroit. Yeah. But, but my point is, you, you, you were ahead of schedule in 92, and one of those teams could, the box, I don't know, could be just ahead of schedule. But this is an unfair fight because all Dallas needs to do is just get healthy, right? Yeah, if the it. quarterback and the receiver get healthy and stay healthy, and Des had a second procedure on his Jones Jump fracture, foot, yeah. they all have to. Kevin Durant had one. You, you need two. Edelman, Edelman had a second yeah. surgery. So I assume he's going to be near 100%. You, you think he will be. If he is, and the quarterback, obviously it's a big if, as you keep bringing up, but if the quarterback stays healthy, then, then they are going to. They, they'll walk. They would have walked away with the division last year. Yeah. You know it, and I know it. So, so this is like an unfair well, question. Yes, they're going to win the division. Well, since you like to use ifs, if Molly's team, they had fourth quarter leads with less than five mm -hmm. minutes. If they had held those leads, they would have walked away with the division. But, but you don't want to talk but about they that. They didn't because but, if I was Bill Gates, team, I'd be the richest man Giants. in the world. The Giants. Right? Red, yeah. If so I, you should know that. Wait a minute. So what is it? If my Giants dog winners? had a, what is it? Yeah, well, hey, I, I don't know you, what it you, is. But you didn't say that. So is Shannon. So Tom Shannon's picking the Giants, when right? Tom, when Tom Coughlin called that, that, that passing play mm -hmm. and had Eli throw the ball to stop the clock. Mm -hmm. You didn't object to that, did you? No, I did not, because what did Tony Romo then do? Yeah, exactly. He went the other way and threw a clutch touchdown pass to a tight end that you suggested yesterday might be way past his prime. Am I right? Yeah, oh. Jason Witten? He look, did. He suggested. What, what, look, yeah. let's be he real. Did. Okay? Let's he be did. realistic. He's not the Jason Witten of five, That's, six years ago. I, I would agree not. with that. He's skip. not. Skip. He's, he's not. not. Skip. I would agree with that. He's not. I would agree with that. I still think he's the guy in the middle of the field that Tony yes. Romo trusts. Yes, as far absolutely. As play, big time playmaker that he used to be, I would but, agree. But Shannon questioned the quality of the receivers opposite Dez and Terrence Williams. And I didn't even bring up Cole Beasley because sometimes he drives me nuts. But but I think that's enough quality to take some pr enough pressure off Dez Bryant to be the deep threat again that he. I think Dez is running. going to see more one on one coverage than he's ever seen. I, 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 planet. I just think that right now, where the way their mentality is up front and the way the offense is coming about this offseason, they could care less about eight, nine man fronts. They, you know, it's all, I'm not saying they run the same way that right. the Broncos used to run. Right. You guys could care less how many guys he had yeah, in the box. Yeah, we run the football. TD was getting the right. rock. And I think that's what they're trying to do right now. They want to run that box, uh, run the ball, control the clock. Play action pass you down the field and take advantage of those one-on-ones. So, Darren Woodson, the New York football giant signed three guys yeah. for almost $200 million. Olivier you Vernon or Vernon this. Olivier or one of those Olivia guys. Olivier Vernon. Yeah, Vernon. I know. I'm kidding. <laughs> but uh, Janoris Jenkins and Damon Harrison. Zero I Pro Bowls among the three and zero playoff appearances among the three. How many Pro so Bowls what, what do you think? Game? Well, I'm asking... Our expert here on the Cowboys, Darren Woods. <laughs> Listen, I, what I'm what not, do you think of the Giants? I, I like point? the Giants and the decisions that they're making as far as trying to get back as far as the, the running game, getting the offensive line back yeah. healthy. That's been the key to this Giants team is the personality and, and the culture of, of that offensive defensive front. The Giants were extremely good defensively in the past, and they, and they dominated the front. Yeah. That's not... That's not the mentality anymore for the New York Giants. I think they're trying to get back there, but I think they're at least two years away from getting solidifying what they have up front as far as the physical guys that they need on the offensive and defensive but side. But your of the ball. Cowboys are ready to go this year with that. Defense. They're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. they're ready How to go. Hey. Like Super Bowl. No, no, I'm not saying ready to go. I, I'm saying Just division. Win the NFC. And let's not talk. I mean, we got to – the division <laughs> winners. Let's give the Redskins some respect now. I mean, yeah. we, we have to that's give some the Redskins some respect. Them. Hmm? You blatantly disrespect the Giants. I do not the Redskins. No, he likes Kirk better than Eli. I do, yeah. because every third year, if you look at Eli's oh gosh, career, history, every yeah. third year he leads the league in interceptions. You, this is the third year. You told me on this it very is. show yesterday, what does history have to do with anything when I brought up the history? Uh, of the 
because it worked. It's the one guy who keeps doing it. You're, you're bringing up history that doesn't apply it's to the team. only when history works for him. Selective, <laughs> selective no, history. No, well, it's the same guy. It's Eli. Every third year, he leads the lead. It's three times he's done it, and this is the third year. So you trust Eli? I always trust Eli. I'd rather have Eli than Tony Romo. Every, like, oh, every are you serious? Yeah, well, why do you rather have two Super Bowls Super Bowl. than none? Every, what do you I mean, want right to now? Show? You've won a division like every four years. I'm just saying, right yeah. now, you would trust, you like Eli and what, what he's I'd done. I'd rather have Eli like, Manning I like than Eli's Tony body, Romo. body of work. Yes, I, I like what he's done as far as winning the Super Bowl championship. Do you think he's more clutch? Then Game Romo? on the line Heck or in the no. Super Bowl? Do you want oh. Eli Manning? Look, I mean, that's Romo? a hard question because yeah. you're right. He has, he he has the hardware. He can't answer it. He had, you know, you have the hardware. He has two rings. Yeah. He, he does have yeah. that. But I, I just think what, what, what he has around him and what Romo has around him yeah. this year, I, I just... I don't think, I think it's apples Victor or oranges. Victor Cruz, Odell Beckham, We're not sure if Victor Sterling Cruz is Shepard. coming back and if he's healthy, if he's going to be fully healthy and ready to go. I think, you know, of course, you got ODB out there. Yeah. He's an absolute monster. Yep. But the outside Oklahoma of that. wide receiver that Skip like loves, him. he's going to like try him. to pretend he doesn't. But Shepard. once upon a time, I'm going to give you this. Eli Manning, in his first Super Bowl, closed his eyes and threw it as far <laughs> as he could. <laughs> Wait a you second. And it stuck. Him? It stuck in a guy's helmet. Skip, that, stop, that's clutch. Skip, is that stop, clutch? Skip, stop. Is that you not clutch? star in a commercial uh, with him, and stop. it's supposed to be all. Winner. Right? No, no, Why you ain't get no doubt. No, I'm not. No, 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 no I'm in the commercial. commercial. He says it's yeah. the one even Skip can't deny. Yeah, it's a Gatorade yeah. commercial. Yeah. And he's with yeah. Eli. He's with oh, Eli. He closed his eyes. Oh, really? He threw the ball up he in did. the air. He did. You know he did. You oh, know he God, did. This. It's all right. All right. So you got your uh, Dallas Cowboys winning the division. Absolutely. Okay, Molly. We shall, we shall see. <laughs> the Cavs, meanwhile, are yet to lose a game this postseason. So how much pressure is on LeBron to bring a chip to the land? We'll discuss next. Darren, thank you.